Hello, everyone. I am Wojciech Kwieciński from the company CardiWave Paris, France, and it is a great pleasure to present today our first in human study of non invasive ultrasound therapy of calcific aortic stenosis. Calcific aortic stenosis is an aging associated disease. It occurs when the aortic valve at the output of the left heart gets fibrotic and calcifies. Such a valve cannot fully open and forces the cardiac muscle to provide much bigger effort to pump blood. It is a life-threatening disease that inevitably leads to heart failure and death. There is an estimate of more than 10 million, million patients affected in the Western countries. Currently, the only therapeutic response is an invasive valve replacement, either by open chest surgery or by transcatheter um, replacement. Both solutions are associated with risk and complications, and in consequence, only symptomatic patients with severe stenosis are treated, among which 16% are not eligible. CardioWave developed a new therapeutic device for a non-invasive valve repair with focused ultrasound. The applicator of the device applies post cavitational ultrasound therapy on the aortic valve through the patient's chest under real-time echo guidance. The very short and intense ultrasound pul pulses create cavitation that produces a mechanical effect, microfragmentation in calcium and fibrotic tissues, restoring the mobility of the valve leaflets and enabling a wider opening of the valve. Previously, we had proven that uh, safety and efficacy of the approach in vitro and in vivo in large animals. We have now performed a first in human study on 10 patients with severe symptomatic aortic stenosis who were not eligible for, for a valve replacement. They had no therapeutic solution. The primary safety endpoint was procedure related mortality at 30 days. The primary performance endpoint were the improvement of anatomical and hemodynamic parameters of the aortic valve measured by an independent core lab. The study was conducted in the Hospital Européen Georges Pompidou in Paris and in the Heart Center in Amphia Hospital, Breda in the Netherlands. The PI of the study was Professor Emmanuel Messas from Georges Pompidou. He, these are the echographic results for all the 10 patients at baseline and then one month after the valves of therapy. We tested the cognitive function after one month and no patient had deteriorated. There was no death nor cerebrovascular accident. During the procedures, there were no adverse events other than some extrasystoles that disappeared when the intensity of the treatment was decreased. In eight patients, we detected an increase of the AVA, which is the surface of opening of the valve. In seven patients, we detected a decrease of the mean pressure gradient, which represents the obstacle to the blood flow. In six of the patients, both markers had improved, and we call these patients responders. Why do some patients respond and our, uh, others don't? First, it was a very heterogeneous group of very old and very sick patients. But more importantly, you see that all responders had at least 45 minutes of therapy and a mean delivered acoustic energy of 180 uh, joules per millimeter square. That makes us believe that the duration and level of energy plays a key role in achieving a significant benefit in these patients. At six months, two of uh, four non-responders died versus only one of the six responders. And no serious adverse events were adjudicated as procedure or device related. The initial one month gain of AVA in these patients was maintained at six months follow-up. Also, after the initial improvement, the NYHA heart functional classification, a quality of life score has stabilized at six months. To conclude, non-invasive transthoracic PCOT of calcified aortic stenosis seems feasible and safe. Performance seems to increase with longer treatment time and higher energy doses. Further study, studies and longer follow-up are required to evaluate the safety, performance, and durability of PCOT, and there are ongoing clinical studies in Serbia, France, and the Netherlands. Finally, PCUT has the potential to treat also other cardiovascular diseases. Thank you.